Hello Scriven County Schools. Welcome to Tech Tip Tuesday. I'm your instructional technology coach Marlene Harris. In this episode I'd like to show you how students can use Google Docs and the Explore tool for research. The Explore tool will allow them to include automatic citations in APA, MLA, or Chicago format as well as find images that are copyright free. So let's begin with uh, a Google Doc and our Explore tool. Inside of our Google Doc, I have copied FDR speech just as a demonstration topic. When I activate the Explore tool, all of the information in my document will be examined and Google will offer suggestions for other resources on this topic. There are two ways that you can activate the Explore tool. The first is using the Tools menu at the top of your document, and you can click the Explore option here. The other option is to use the Explore icon in the bottom right hand corner. The Explore tool will suggest some related topics, images, and research pertaining to the information that's in your document. If you would like to see more of those topics, you can click More. If students find topics that they need more information on, they can select one of those topics. For instance, I'll choose Winston Churchill, and it will find all the information that pertains to Winston Churchill and FDR on the web, images, and any information that they may have in their Google Drive. On the Web tab, you'll notice that you can use the More Options or the Snowman icon to choose MLA, APA, or Chicago-style formatting for your citations. From there, students could select the resource, which would open up in a new tab. They could read that information, come back to their document, and then paraphrase the information that was there. To cite that resource, they would click the quotation marks in the top right corner for that link. Notice I have a one after the text that I typed, and at the bottom of my document, I now have a footnote citation for that resource. They could also search for copyright-free images that pertain to the content of the document. There are two ways that they can insert those images. They could slide them into the document, or if they'd like to get a better look at them before they inserted them, they can select that image and choose Insert at the top. Notice at the bottom, it will tell you that it's labeled for commercial reuse with modification, so they know that there are no issues with copyright. Although this image is copyright free, we still need to include um, a notation of our source. One way students could do this is to select the image by clicking on it. Then notice that we're given the link for the resource. Students can right click on that link, copy the link address, then click off of the picture just below the picture, then Control V or right click and paste, and they've now cited their source. Students may want to change the size of the text by highlighting and using the drop down and choosing a smaller text size so it's a little less obtrusive. To resize the image, just select the image and drag the blue corner so that it is uh, the appropriate size. The Explore tool will also search your Google Drive for any information pertaining to the subject that you're searching. Another way to use the Explore tool is to start with a blank document and open the Explore tool. In the search window, search your topic. Again, you'll get results from the web, image results, and then you can again search your Google Drive. I would also like to point out that the Explore tool lives in Google Slides and in Google Sheets. Although it functions differently for slides and sheets based on the type of information that you have in those applications. I hope that you'll find the Explore tool in Google Docs a useful teaching aid in student research and projects. Thank you very much for your time. I look forward to our next episode of Tech Tip Tuesday.